हेलो हेलो हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो वी आर सेम प्रॉब्लम नंबर टू ऑफ टूडेज बाईवली कॉन्टेस्ट वन ट्वेंटी सेवन अगेन प्रॉब्लम नंबर वन एंड थ्री ऑलरेडी लाइफ फोर विल बी कमिंग अप सून सो द प्रॉब्लम सिंपली सेज दैट वी आर गिवन अ बाइनरी एरे पॉसिबल ऑफ लेंथ एन अगेन बाइनरी एरे इज समथिंग बट हैविंग ओनली वन एंड जीरो एस इट्स वैल्यूज नाउ देर इज अ पर्सन ए एंड अ पर्सन बी which means a and b let's name it as a d and b now they are playing a game that consists of n levels and some of the levels in the game are impossible to clear while others are others can always be cleared in a particular possible like in particular if the array which is given to us this possible array if the possible of i is 0 then the ith level is impossible to clear for both the players again for both the players and basically If it is possible, then uh, gains of one point on clearing a level and loses one point. If it is, if he fails to clear the level, so we have to tell if D and B, like D wants to know the minimum number of levels he should play to gain more points than actually B. D should want minimum number of levels he should play to gain more points than B, and again both the players play optimally. so we simply want to find minimum number of levels which d wants and if we take this first example itself that will make everything clear so again what if d chooses to have only one level okay d again we want d's minimum level again first level for d is this and again remaining bob will have to take next level for d is this remaining bob have to take next level like next is this remaining bob have to take again that is the final thing d will have to go up to this point so that it it leaves something for bob it cannot happen okay d will take everything no that's not possible d have to leave something for bob also so okay one possible thing is okay d and b this combination other possible combination is d and b this combination other possible combination is d and b this combination now coming on back if d takes this for sure his score will be 1 b score will be minus 1 1 minus 1 b score will be Minus one in total. So I can simply say one thing: Aryan, convert all these zeros to negative one, and then simply go. Okay, at this point when my D was taking this and B was taking this, simply I'm just finding this sum. This is the sum, and this is the sum which I want. And I want. Okay, again in the next step, I will take this as the sum for D. Next is the sum for D. Sum for B. Bob as remaining part. Again, for the, in the next iteration, sum of d is this. Next, sum of b is the remaining part. At the first point, at the first point where d sum is more than my bob sum, that will be the minimum level. And again, if it is not possible, so return a minus one. And you can see simply uh, in the first level itself, when the first level was taken, d sum is one, b sum is minus one. One is more than minus one. Oh. First level is the actually the answer. Now, a uh, very basic way which comes in our mind is, Arun, I will take the sum of this at every point. Arun, at every point, I will take the sum of this portion and I will take the sum of this portion. Okay. At the next point, I will take the sum of this portion, sum of this portion. So I will have how many points? I will have n minus one points. I will have okay, one one like once here, once here, and once here. So I will have n minus one point on every point. I am taking the prefix sum and I am taking the suffix sum. Okay, so I will have to take the sum of n elements. Prefix sum n elements again. It can be any random number in many random number of static elements, and then remaining elements for the suffix sum for Bob. So it will be O of n square. Will O of n square work? Let's look and see. O oh, O of n square will not work. What can we do now? We said exact same thing. If I am saying that, bro, while you are calculating this specific sum. What will be the sum for your Bob? Okay, what is it? What is the total sum minus this sum? Will be the Bob sum. So if this is a sum d, this is a sum b. If this is a sum s, which is the total sum, so I can simply say, if any way I can get to know my d sum, I can simply find my b's sum by saying s minus d. S is the total sum. D is the sum for d, which is the player. And then B sum I can simply go and find. So I want simply one condition that that again if you remembered I wanted that D sum. What is the first point when D sum is more than my B sum? I can now replace this B with this S minus D. So I can say D sum 
is more than s minus d sum what is that specific first point now if you had known and if you had focused on my wordings as i already mentioned d sum is nothing but from starting from prefix at every step what is the sum for d thus i can simply say at every step as i'm moving on okay my prefix sum is one okay as i move on next step now my prefix sum is zero now my prefix sum is again a one and then i will be very easily able to find my d value which is the prefix sum value and i can easily monitor that prefix sum value and that's the only answer cool so you have this condition d is nothing but the prefix sum itself d is nothing but the prefix sum itself and that is your answer now uh, the code is pretty simple pretty short and simple firstly i have to, i have to find my s which is the total sum and as you remembered in nums wherever it is zero i replace that with a minus one so i said that bro uh, if you have your element if it is a one add a one if it is a zero then add a minus one corresponding to that okay that will be your sum total sum and then ultimately you want to find the minimum i again r and i is zero but the level is one yeah that is the reason if i is zero my level will actually be i plus one so that is the case and if you saw i have to leave one element in the end for bob for sure always so i went on only to n minus one this is a very small thing which you have to make sure now for d sum it is the prefix sum and same way for prefix sum i'll also do the same thing okay prefix sum add the contribution if the number is one i will simply add a one else if a number is zero i will add a minus one so i have to keep track of the prefix sum now i will simply say the remaining sum will be sum minus prefix sum if you remember your remaining sum will be nothing but sum minus prefix sum s minus d d is the prefix sum so your remaining sum will be a sum minus prefix sum and then if your prefix sum which means d if it is more than your s minus d bro that is the first possible value and you can simply return your level which is i plus one and if you even after trying for all the possible ways still you cannot return it return a minus one in the end thus your time here as you can simply see will be a o of n again o of n here and o of n here it will be simply o of n and space as you know as you're not using any extra space no prefix array no prefix sum array nothing so space will be o of one and thus you can simply solve it in o of n time in o of one space cool but take care bye bye and actually it was actually a easy problem easy medium i should say considering you know a concept of prefix sum and you have solved questions on it bye bye take care cheers